What's up guys, it's your boy Paul coming at you here today with another video. Look, today uh, I just finished up, it's about 10.30 right now, uh, just finished up my work day today. Um, I would say a pretty successful work day, uh, excited for a few of the projects that I'm working on. Um, but look, the reason why I'm making this video and the reason why um, I post these videos, you know, the reason why I'm just trying to deliver content, help you guys in whatever way I can, um, share with you on my journey. Obviously, uh, I'm pretty much just getting this thing started again and um, sharing with you my insights is pretty much my goal. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about like planning uh, tomorrow today. Let me explain what I mean by this. Like my days changed when I started to plan everything what I was going to do. But let me be clear on what I mean. I don't mean I wake up and then um, I think about what I have to do for the day. Now, don't get me wrong. That works for some people. But for me, it absolutely did not work. And so when I started planning tomorrow, today, it changed everything. Let me tell you why. I have to optimize my life for not thinking. What I mean by that is I love to think, okay? I absolutely love to think. But if I have to think about what to do next, that's where my procrastination comes in. And now granted, this is from me learning myself, okay? So I'm teaching you what I've learned about myself. If I have to think about what to do next and it's not already planned out, I will procrastinate, not because like, oh, I don't want to do it, but because, oh, there's a thousand different directions at which I, sh I could go. And so, when I started implementing planning tomorrow, today, and I do it at nighttime once I'm completely done with my work day, uh, so I'll probably do it here in a little bit. Um, what I do is I go over my day. Did I hit everything that I wanted to hit? Did I achieve everything that I wanted to achieve? Um, how on track with my plan did I stay? Did I veer off? Why did I veer off? How much time did I spend here? How much time did I spend there? Um, you know, did I try and pack too much in my schedule? Did I not? Did I not do enough? Everything I try and evaluate, okay? So once I evaluate today and say, okay, how did I do? You know, did I, did I meet whatever I wanted to do? I then say, okay, what, is, what do I need to do tomorrow to stay on track with my goals? Um, like I have weekly goals that I give myself that I mark out. And so it's like, okay, what's achievable in a seven day period? And then when I break that down, okay, with the weekly goal in mind, uh, what can I do tomorrow? And what do I know from myself, from past performances, and where I wanna go, how much can I achieve tomorrow? Versus like, like you guys ever created a workout um, and you're like, you just wrote so much down, you're like, oh, this is gonna be an amazing workout. And like maybe a quarter or midway in, you're like, yeah, not a chance that I can complete this workout. Here's why, you thought you were Superman. It's plain and simple. Whenever you're writing stuff down, you're like, oh, this sounds great. I'm going to do so much. It's going to be amazing. And then you're getting to it and you're like, oh, crap. Like, this is this is hard. And I'm not saying hard as in like, oh, it's so hard. I just want to stop. I'm saying like you physically don't have the amount of time to complete everything that you wanted to get done. I'm guilty of doing that in my scheduling. I'm so guilty of doing that. Um, I was like, wow, tomorrow's going to be a super productive day. And then tomorrow hits and I'm like, I'm kind of disappointed because I only had half, but on a realistic scale, why did I give myself this much to do? There was no way I was going to accomplish it. I hope that makes sense and you guys know what I'm saying. Um, so anyways, I always evaluate past performance, okay? Every single night, every single week. So I do it every single night and every single week um, at the end of the week, which for me, I consider Sunday the end of the week and I do my planning uh, on Sunday night for the week. Um, and so whenever I'm thinking about tomorrow, and seeing what I did today, I'm planning out and hitting each goal that I want to hit. So for example, I have a uh, working out uh, time frame that I want to hit, uh, like amount of time spent working out. I have a reading time frame that I want to hit. I have a working time frame that I uh, want to hit. Um, I have a social time frame that I want to hit. Every night I have a certain amount of hours uh, of sleep that I want to hit. Um, and, then I, and then I have... Um, a certain amount of time reading that I want to hit and a certain amount of time spent with God that I want to hit. 
So I try and hit, I believe that was seven categories. I try and hit those seven categories every day. And I've already planned it out. Like I, I'll, I can do a video sometime on how I plan out my weeks. Um, but I already have planned out the amount of time I want to spend doing each one of those things. And so what I have to do is I fill up those categories with things to do given the time frame on a realistic scale. Um, and when I started doing that, I'm telling you, it changed everything. It changed everything on uh, my productivity level. Uh, it changed everything on my clarity level. I wake up and it's set for me. So I literally don't have to think, what am I doing at 11? What am I doing at 12? Okay, within the hours that I'm gonna work today, what am I gonna do for work? Hmm, let me think about it. I don't have to do any of that, okay? I have everything planned, even time that I can spend talking with people. I have that planned, I have options in there. So if uh, my normal slot of like 12 to one uh, gets taken up uh, with a conversation, because that's normally my workout time, I can switch that in there and go one to two workout. So I have things that I'm, I'm allowed to maneuver, and then I have my non-negotiables. So like my first thing is like when I wake up, the first thing I'm doing before anything is time spent with God. Like that is the absolute form. Like I cannot move forward if I don't do that first. So that's a non-negotiable for me. Um, and so you got to – because here's one of the things. Some people like to build schedules, but then they don't realize, oh, wow, I'm human. Oh, wow, interruptions will come in my life. And so they don't plan for those things in their schedule. I have my schedule in such a way to where hours can be shifted around if something interferes. Now, don't get me wrong. I try to keep nothing from interfering with it. But does that happen sometimes? Absolutely. Um, and so, you, you know, you just got to roll with the punches on that. But try, try this out. Try planning tomorrow, today, like tonight. That way you don't have to think tomorrow about what to do next. You're putting your brain power and you're putting your mind power only to things that matter. Only the executing of the things that you said to do. You know, if you're writing a blog or, you know, if you're writing a book or, you know, doing some intense creative thing or, or whatever else you may be doing that requires a lot of brain power, that way you can focus your brain power on that. And if you're thinking about, you know, that thing that you need to read or that thing you need to learn, great. You already have it scheduled in your day at which you're gonna learn that. So let go of it for now. Don't let it be a distraction and do the work in front of you. And then when that time rolls around, guess what? You get to watch those videos. Guess what? You get to read that blog. You get to read that book. Do whatever you need to do. Um, and good news is if you finish early on all the stuff, like you had a really productive work day, well, guess what? Then you can spend more time doing the random thing that you wanted to do. What I would suggest, if you get things, more things done in your work day than you anticipated, don't just overload yourself with more work. That can actually send negative signals to you being productive. Um, so I would say reward yourself with, even if it's a lazy thing that you like to do, if you got everything that you needed to do, get done for, uh, for the day before your time frame was up, reward yourself. Do whatever you like to do. Even if that's like watching, whatever it is, watching a movie, hanging out, you know, whatever, whatever your chill thing is that you like to do, do that thing. Don't, don't just overload yourself with more work. So, um... I probably have like a lot more to say on this and I'll probably do this when uh, probably give another video when I talk about how I schedule my weeks and then my 90 days and then my years and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, if this video helped at all, uh, leave a like below. If you know someone who could use uh, this video and use the tips that I'm talking about here, uh, feel free to share this video with them. And uh, you know, tell me your, you tell me your experiences below. Uh, I'd love to hear how you know, scheduling has affected you guys. If you do schedule things, uh, how that helps. If you're not a scheduler, uh, how that's worked for you so far. Uh, I used to not be as well, but because I want to, I want to do a lot of things. Um, I've had to develop myself to be a scheduler. Uh, so give me your input on that as well. Um, and as always, stay tuned for the videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, so until next video, I will see you guys later.